Okay, so we are going to continue our coverage over Gotham War. And we have now officially reached a part where we are going to learn what in the world Vandal Savage is actually up to. Because remember, in the earlier parts of Gotham War, he had just randomly appeared out of nowhere. He bought out Wayne Manor and that was it. Oh, by the way, his daughter is working alongside with Selena Kyle. But again, we had no idea what was his master plan. With that being said, this is the book where we're going to learn what is he actually up to. Now, the first couple pages is where we learn the origin of Vandal Savage. Matter of fact, we already know, know it, but it's a nice review. And when it comes to uh, Vandal Savage, we learn that many, many years ago, the caveman days, a bunch of meteorites fell across the world. One of them landed right next to Vandal Savage. And once he had grabbed that meteorite, well, he gained the ability to live forever. Now, he also tells us that the other ones did fall across the world, and one of them did turn into the Lazarus Pit. We already know that's being used by Raja Ghul. But he now tells us that when it comes to the source of the power of the meteorites, they're better together rather than being separate from one another. And so it seems like his master plan is to bring different pieces of the source of those meteorites together to accomplish a bigger goal. And apparently, a lot of pieces are right now in Gotham City. And so we then jump over to Batman and Red Hood, Bruce and Jason Todd. This is really important. And the reason why, because it does pick up where our last video left off at. And remember, at the end of our last video, we saw Batman do something to Jason Todd. But we were left to wonder to figure out what did Batman do to Jason Todd. And we kind of find out that Batman had added something to Jason Todd's personality. What I mean by that, when it comes to Jason Todd, anytime he tries to do something that is so dangerous, fear will kick in to the point where it is going to paralyze him make him a weaker person. It's Batman sidelining Jason Todd by saying, no, I am no longer going to let you be the Red Hood, to let you be part of the Bat family. I am going to put you on the sideline. Now, this is again, Batman trying to find a different way to actually control the different people of the Bat family. Right now, it's Jason Todd. But the question is, what could happen to the rest of the Bat family when it comes to Batman? But then we jump over to Dick Grayson. Now, when we do, this is Dick Grayson basically going to an old home that used to belong to Thomas and Martha Wayne. Now, when it comes to this home, it was the first home the couple had lived in together. But it gave Thomas the ability to live near his school. He was going to medical school. Now, the reason why this home is so special is because inside this home, Batman put another failsafe that he only trusts Dick Grayson about. And when it comes to this failsafe, well, it has the ability to shut down the entire Batman network. He will be complete defenseless. No weapons, no tech. He'll be without all those things to fight alone. It's a big way to hurt the Batman. And the reason why Dick is doing this because he feels like Batman is no longer being, well, Batman. He has changed. Now, this is also Barbara and Dick saying they feel like the Batman of Zert and Raw is taking over the body of Batman. Now, remember, when it comes to the Batman of Zert and Raw, well, it was another personality that Batman made in his mind. And when it comes to this other personality, it basically goes off the idea of just being Batman 100% of the time. No Bruce Wayne at all, just Batman alone. Because to Batman, he feels like sometimes the Bruce Wayne persona holds him back. But if he's able to make another personality where it's just Batman and no Bruce Wayne, He'll be the best Batman Gotham ever had. Now, this was supposed to be a big secret, but we kind of find out it wasn't that big of a secret 
because Damien is there as well. But Damien is there to stop Dick Grayson because Damien knows what Dick is trying to do and it leads into another Robin battle. Now luckily for Dick, another Robin was there and that would be Tim. Tim appears and now him and Damien are fighting. And this is a huge callback. And the reason why, because when Damien first appeared, Damien was a total you know what to Tim. Because now it's Damien saying, I am Batman, Bruce Wayne's biological son. I come first over all of you guys. And that would tick off Tim a lot because Tim was adopted by Bruce by the time Damien came around and Tim looked at Bruce as a father. And so you had this long rivalry, rivalry, had a hard time saying that, between Damien and also Tim. Now over the years, the two would work together, but you could tell still they don't like each other. And so this is just another example of the two characters not liking each other at all. And now they're fighting once again, but now is Tim trying to buy Dick a long enough time to go through the actual process to shut down Batman. And so then we jump over to Selena Kyle and Scandal Savage. Now, of course, Scandal is the daughter of Vandal Savage. But either way, you have Scandal telling Selena that she needs to stop Bruce Wayne. She needs to stop Batman. And Selena is the only person who could do that. Now, the reason why you have Scandal wants Selena to do that is because of two different things. One, Batman is ruining Selena Kyle's operation. Because let's not forget, when it came to Selena Kyle, she was able to save Gotham City in a very unique way by saying, listen, all the different henchmen that are working for the different supervillains across the board, stop doing that. Stop being killers, and matter of fact, become thieves. Because now, you're not gonna kill people, you're only gonna steal from them. But that's the thing, people are no longer scared to leave their house and not get killed. Yes, their items are being stolen while they're out, but that's okay because they're able to live and crime has hit an all time low because now the bad guys, well, they can't be bad guys without their henchmen. And so that is why you have Scandal telling Selena, you need to stop Batman because he's hurting your operation. But at the same time, this is Scandal saying you need to take Batman down for our own personal needs. We already know for Vandal Savage. And so then we jump back over to Dick. And while you have Dick trying to shut down Batman's network while Tim is fighting against Damien, well, Batman appears. And it leads into another battle between Dick and Batman. Now, here's the thing because Dick is trying his best to tell Bruce that Bruce has changed, that Bruce is different. But at the same time, is Dick wondering what did Bruce do to Jason Todd? Now, that's gonna be a huge shock for Dick down the road. Either way, when it comes to Batman, he's all like, y'all don't understand. What y'all are doing is not okay. Because let's not forget, the rest of the Bat family besides Damien and Batman are okay with what Selina is doing because crime has hit an all time low. But for Batman and Damien is more of no, they're still committing crimes and that is not okay. And so that is why we have a Gotham War. Either way, it's also the book telling us that when it comes to the Batman, Azur and Ra, it is slipping through the other mind, the other persona of Bruce Wayne. Because that is huge. Because when it came to the Batman, Azur and Ra, yes, it was another persona in the mind of Bruce Wayne but it was locked away. And now it's no longer locked away. It's trying to take over the body of Bruce Wayne. And that is going to be a huge problem because when it comes to the Batman Azur and Raw, he's more of, listen, you need to leave the Bruce Wayne life behind. But at the same time, you don't need any Robins at all because the Robins make you weak. Without them, you'll be a better Batman, a stronger Batman. And that is a huge problem because for Batman, he always says now recently in DC Comics, he's only strong because of his family. But now this other persona in his mind is taking that away from him. And that is huge. That is very, very huge. But you didn't have Batman take down Dick, take down Tim, 
technically leaves Damien behind because now this is a new Batman saying, I don't need any Robins at all. No Damien, no Tim, no Dick, no Jason, not even Stephanie, just me. But right after you have Bruce leave his Robins behind, well, he was confronted by Selena Kyle. And she says, we need to talk. And she's right. They definitely, most definitely need to talk. But now we jump back over to Vandal Savage. This is where we learn what is he actually up to? What is this man trying to accomplish? And we kind of find out that in the past, he did go meet Raja Ghul because Raja Ghul knew what Vandal Savage was trying to do, which was go around the world and find the different pieces of that meteor that turned to a bunch of meteorites across the world and bring them together. And the reason why? Because the goal is for Vandal Savage to make a new army of immortal people and that is very very huge because we come to find out Raja Ghul knew what Vandal Savage was trying to do and so Raja Ghul worked very hard to make sure those different pieces never came together at all to stop Savage plan the problem is by this point in DC Comics Raja Ghul is dead and so when it came to scandal she was able to get Raja Ghul piece of the meteor and then find the other pieces and now with all those different pieces coming together except a few more now we know what he is trying to do he wants to take over Selena Kyle's operation all her different thugs and whatever and also turn them into his army but he's also making a new League of Shadows yeah, you heard that right. His own League of Shadows. Except this time, every single member will have the ability to become immortal, to live forever. And that is very huge. And so then we jump into the next chapter. And when we do, it is Selena Kyle coming to Bruce Wayne and saying, Bruce, we gotta stop this. And she's right because they have been friends. They've been lovers. They've been enemies. But the thing is, no matter what, they always come back together. And they both hate the idea that they have gone to war against each other over the idea to just protect Gotham City. Now, with that being said, she's also worried about the idea that supervillains sooner or later are going to try to come back and get revenge against her. And Bruce is also scared for that idea. But both characters are right because the bad guys are upset with Selena Kyle. They are going to try to give back their henchmen to go on with their plans to do crazy things to Gotham City. But that is when you see the city begin to fall apart all over again. Random fires are happening left and right. And now the city needs their heroes. Of course, Batman, the Bat family, Selena Kyle. And it's so crazy because now with the city being in danger, they're going to put their problems aside to help out the city. And that is a huge thing. But at the same time, it's also Selena saying, I want to know what you did to Jason Todd. What did you do to Jason Todd? And Batman cannot tell her because he knows if he does, it's going to ruin everything between them. But luckily for her, Scandal says, I found Jason Todd. And you have Batman and Selena go their separate ways. And so then we jump over to the Savage family, of course, Vandal and Scandal. Well, you have the two of them trying to figure out how all their plans are going to come together. Well, then they're confronted by Selena Kyle. And this is her realizing what both Vandal and Scandal are trying to do, which is make their own League of Shadows at her own operation take all the members of her operation into his League of Shadows. That is a huge problem. And so you have Vandal say, what I'm trying to do is spread the gift around to give almost everybody in Gotham City the ability to live forever. It'll be a great thing. Now for Selena, it's not. And the reason why, because she was trying her best to teach every single member of her operation to work on their own, to not be puppets for other people. But now here comes Vandal and say, no, 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 join my league. You also have the ability to live forever. They're no longer 
working on their own. They're now working for someone else. And that is a huge problem. Now, you actually have Vandal Savage cut off the head of Selena Kyle, all because she disagreed with his plans. Come to find out, that was not Selena Kyle. That was Lady Clayface. And now she is going to tell Selena everything that Vandal and Scandal have been up to. But then we pick up with Vandal Savage meeting up with some random villains of Gotham City. Not truly random, but just some random ones we all know and love. Either way, when it comes to Vandal Savage, what he is doing right now is trying to recruit these guys to his cause by saying that, listen, when it comes to Bat and Cat in the war, sooner or later, one or both of them are going to die. And matter of fact, we might kill them off. But here's the thing, the ones who work under Selena Kyle, they need a master, they need a leader. She's trying to teach them how to fight, but at the same time, they're listening to her because they look at her as their leader, like they used to do when it comes to working for different supervillains around Gotham City. And what Vandal is saying that as soon as she dies or as soon as she's gone, those henchmen that were under her control are going to look for a new leader. And that is where you guys are going to step in. And once they realize they should have never left you, they're going to crawl back over to you. But then they're going to realize that you now have more to offer. And those things you have to offer will come for me. And so why not? Now work with me and we can build a new Gotham and you have these bad guys agree just like that but then we get reminded of Jason Todd and remember when it comes to Jason Todd thanks to Batman he now cannot be a hero he has been sidelined because if anything happens and he tries to be a hero fear is going to kick in now this is Jason Todd actually overcoming that fear because there's a fire nearby and with this fire happening there's a young girl trapped inside and so you have Jason Todd say no I'm still a hero and I'm still going to do the right thing and even though all that fear is just pumping into his body he is going to push forward and he does he does push forward to save that young girl the question is though Will he make it out of there? But then you have Batman meet up with Selena Kyle. Now, when he does, the two of them are technically saying that Gotham War is basically over between the two of them. That they're going to work together, but there's going to be some rules. So Batman is going to allow Selena to do what she does with her new operation, but Batman is going to have some rules about it at the same time. There's going to be rules for Batman as well when it comes to Selena Kyle and her operations. Either way, the two agree to work together, but now they have to find Jason Todd. Because with Jason Todd no longer being the hero he wants to be or can be, he could get in grave danger. And matter of fact, he is. Because right now, he's trapped inside that burning building. And so to close off on today's video, we do pick up with Batman and Selina Kyle being able to track down Jason Todd. Now, once they're able to track down Jason Todd, they're able to get him and the young girl out of the burning building. But after that, it leads into more now of Jason Todd, Selina Kyle, and Bruce Wayne saying, okay, we are going to work together. Because now we all know that Vandal Savage is behind a lot of this mess but at the same time he is trying to take over the city take over selena kyle's operation but also give people the ability to be immortal we have to work together to actually stop him except right after you have batman say that well they look over and they find vandal savage but they also find a bunch of bad guys who are now working with him and we are about to enter the final chapter of Gotham War in the next video. So this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, I'll see y'all next time. Later.